There is a place, do 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 do, somewhere in space, ba do da do da, where magical things are happening. Everything you can't be imagining. The enchanted planet is charmed and truly magical. The enchanted planet is everything imaginable. The enchanted. Hello, friend. Thank you for joining me again today on Our Enchanted Planet, this very fun place where everything is possible. I've been feeling a bit confused lately. There's so much information bouncing around and some of it feels true to me and some of it feels false. Do you kind of know the difference in your body of when things feel true and when they don't feel true to you? It can be confusing. I like to think of my inner guidance system and there's this part of me that feels good when I'm stepping in the right direction and things are correct. And if it doesn't feel good to my tummy or my system, maybe it's false or the wrong direction to take. How do we practice doing that together? Let's try something. If I say to you, you are a chimpanzee. Does that feel true to you? Are you a chimpanzee? <laughs> now you may act like a chimpanzee, but you're probably not a chimpanzee. So did that feel a little wrong in your tummy when I said you're a chimpanzee? Now what if I say you're a wonderful person? How does that feel? That feels true and good to me. Learning how to trust our intuition and the feelings in our body is very important. There's some other important things I want to share with you today, and we've got some great friends to teach us. We're also going to have a group conga dance party today, and I really want you to join. Are you ready for an adventure with me today? Yeah? Okay, good. Let's go! <laughs> hmm, I'm feeling a little confused. I thought I had a new adventure. Oh, there she is. Hola, Sandra. You're looking a little confused, oh, too. What's yes, going on? Yes, Oh, I'm so confused today. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why are you feeling confused, friend? I can't remember which book you wanted me to bring. That makes sense. I've been feeling confused today about a few things, too. Hmm, we can solve this together, no oh, problem. You. you look like you're feeling a little stressed, too. Yeah, I feel a little stressed. Yeah, it happens in our day sometimes, doesn't it? Do you ever feel stressed? Yeah, it can happen. Why don't we all take a deep breath together right that now? Will help me so much. Let's do that. Because <sighs> the reality is, I think I actually have a second copy of the book I asked you to bring. Oh, that's fantastic. It makes me feel so much better. Perfect. Thank you. No problemo, mi amiga. Oh. <laughs> no problemo. Perfecto. See? Yes, okay, yes. great. Well, we are going to practice a few more Spanish phrases or words today. Yeah. Because we're talking about confusion, I'm wondering if you could teach me how to say confused in Espanol. Confundido. Oh, confundido. That makes sense. Let's try that together. Confundido. Yeah, confused. That makes sense to me. I can almost imagine the clouds up in the brain just kind of making it swirl around, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, how do I say stressed in Espanol again? Oh, estresado o estresada. That's right. You had taught me to say, me siento estresada when I'm feeling stressed. But I'm actually feeling relieved right now, aliviada, because hey, we're hey. learning together. Yes. yes. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Well, before we get into our wonderful story time, will you teach me a couple more animal phrases? Absolutely. You Let's will? do it. Okay, great. So when I'm talking about confusion, it makes me think of my friend, the chimpanzee. Ooh. Como se dice chimpanzee in español? Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. That's very similar. Let's try that together. Chimpanzee. Perfect. That's wonderful. There's another friend coming to okay. visit us today that is a camel. How do you say camel in Espanol? That's a fun one. It has a wonderful spelling. Okay. It has two L's next to each other. And it sounds camello. So those two L's at the end aren't camello? 
Oh, I'm remembering you had taught me when two L's are next to each other, they make the sound of a Y almost. Yes. Cameo. Yes. That's correct? Yes. Let's try that together then. Cameo. Oh, I like the sound of camel in Spanish. Cameo. That's fun, huh? That's fun. It's got a little extra flair that I like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so the book that I actually have an extra copy of, yes, yes. I wanted to remind you which one it is. It's the one of our autistic friend uh -huh. that's called Luna Yes, Luna Si. <gasps> That's the one! See, you remember? Oh, yes, now I do. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. So this is a very special story time today. It's about a friend, like I said, who has autism. And I have a lot of friends who are on the autistic spectrum. And I think it's really cool to learn how to respect and honor all of our different friends. And sometimes for this family, that comes with a little confusion because people in the family learn a little bit differently. And that's okay. You and I learn differently, but we sure learn together, don't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's story time. Let's listen and focus and let's enjoy Luna. Yes, Luna C. Story time. Luna Yes, Luna C by Jessica Gonzalez For my sister and every special child in the world. Hi, my name is Cassie. Cassie? This is my sister, Luna. She has autism. Luna! Because Luna has autism, she sometimes does things that are different from other people, like when she repeats things that people tell her. Luna, how do you feel today? Feel today? I feel happy. She might only eat certain foods because Luna does not like changes. She has a routine for herself. Pizza, yes. <laughs> Luna, eat your food. No, pizza, yes. Oh, Luna. Luna uses stims like covering her ears or echoing a noise to relax. This helps her block out sounds that bother her. <laughs> Sometimes, everything that Luna sees and hears can overwhelm her to the point where she has outbursts. Ring, ring. It can also be overwhelming for mom and dad. Because Luna needs a lot of extra help and attention. And sometimes... I feel all alone. But then, I remember Luna makes me feel better when I am sad. I remember that Luna and I both like eating cookies and chips, and that sometimes Mom yells at us for it. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I remember that Luna can remember anything. She has a photographic memory and knows when even one card is missing from her card collection. Card? Yes. I remember that we both love going to the beach. Swimming? Yes. I remember that we both do not like to see people sad. <laughs> Even though Luna can be a lot to handle sometimes, I remember that everyone else can be. Hey! We all just need love and support. I am so happy that we get to be each other's love and support. The End
C is for cello. What instruments do you play? Tinker time! I have a really fun tinker time in store for you today. I've invited my friend Chloe to teach us more about the cello. What instruments do you play? Let's learn a little bit more about the cello right now. <laughs> tell you about the cello and teach just a very little lesson. Have you boys ever seen a cello? No. No? Yeah. Oh boy, this is exciting. I can share with you my favorite instrument. I've been playing this instrument since third grade and it's this same one. She's a friend of mine. <laughs> this cello has four strings. C string, G string, D, and A. Those notes are all five notes apart. Those two notes are called C and G and they're a fifth. Those are called chords. The other thing you can do on the cello is scales. There's a lot of different scales you can play. I'm going to play the easiest one starting on the C note. C major scale. make some silly sounds. You can make some really creepy sounds. That's just a little bit of what you can do on the cello. There's so many things and it's just one instrument and there's so many instruments and music is love. Bye! Thanks for being here with the cello Bye, and us. <laughs> I had no idea that the cello could do so many amazing things. I'd love to learn more about what instruments you play. Feel free to share that with us. But right now, I want to get together and let's join Chloe again for a conga dance party. Are you ready? Let's dance! <laughs> Dance party! Hi, friends! Hello, friends! We're so excited to join you today for a chimpanzee conga line! Oh, conga line. <laughs> I love it! Are you guys excited to dance today? Yay! Yay. Yay. This is our friend Chloe who sings the song Hi. for us. Hi, Chloe! This, she's Hi, amazing. Chloe. Can you wave to her? Hi, Chloe! Hi, Chloe! And we have some friends back here that are going to come on our screen and show us their conga line dancing as well. So we want you out there to get up off your feet. If you've got other people in your family who want to join us, please have them do that. So I'm going to start and let's all get in a line together, okay? okay. Alright, so I'm going to come up front and let's all get in a line and then we'll say, hey trees, please play that great beat. Okay, now with conga, we want to just listen to the rhythm and we're going to start by going this way. Ready everybody? Java to Salonga Chimpanzees dance conga, congo to bandando. With, With friends, friends you can, can do, do it too. Ooh. 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 Looking good. Yeah, let them show you step. Let's go this way now. Let's kick. Hands on waist, move through space. One, two, three. Kick in place. Everybody kick. Now this way! Down there in Salonga, chimpanzees like 
song, yeah. Now let's make a circle. And we'll go like this around each other. Circle. Love it. And you can look here. Yay. Now let's turn the other way in our circle. Yeah. Yeah, he's the leader. You can wave. Now, now let's do monkeys. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do some monkeys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Apes, really. They're apes. Yes. Okay, conga line again. You're doing great. We're going to come over here. You're doing awesome. Yes. Now arms. Yeah. Travel to Salonga. Chimpanzees dance conga. Congo to Bandandu. With friends, you can do it too. All right, this way again now. Turn around. Good job. Follow Chaz. Follow Chaz. Good. Move through space. One, two, three. Kick in place. Ooh. Arms. Arms. Ooh. And you know you can go like this. Ooh. Give me a smile. There you go. Show me your monkey. Turn. Keep going. Good. Chimpanzee says conga. And we're kicking in place. Did you have fun, Rio? Hi. Yeah! Did you have, did you have, how about you, Mateo? Did you have fun? I had so much fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're really so a great man. dancer. Well, let's say goodbye to our friends. Come on, let's get up close and say bye. Come on! Come on. Bye, bye. friends! Bye. Forest Friends. Feeling pretty confused. Have you ever felt that way? Sometimes things feel confusing and it's okay to feel confused. Sometimes it gives us a good opportunity to ask questions and learn more. Let's go see if Grand Sappy has any advice for us about confusion and how to feel better when we feel confused. Come on. Hi Grand Sappy, it's nice to see you today. Yeah. I was talking with my friend again about confusion, and I'm wondering, do you have any advice for me when I get confused? Huh. When I'm feeling bewildered or perplexed, I find one thing I understand, then the next. You know, one thing at a time, right down the line. <laughs> oh, okay. So like when I'm putting together a puzzle or playing with the dominoes that are all lined up? You are root scoot tootin' right. Remember, if you can't see the forest for one tree, you better take a closer look-see. <laughs> Sometimes I feel embarrassed, honestly, if I can't figure things out. Oh, don't feel embarrassed. We all make mistakes, but I know you have what it takes. Solve one bit, and then the next one will fit. <laughs> Thanks for that advice, Grand Sappy. I appreciate that. Are you ready for a rest? Okay, friend, I'll talk with you again soon. Bye. <laughs> Wait, what? I do not get it. Do I have to explain myself again? So are you from the Congo? No, 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 no. Ah, no, but I can dance the Congo. I am from the Congo. But I thought the drums were called Congos. No, but they are bongos and conga drums. What are you guys talking about? I am totally confused. Confusing you? My brain feels like a jumbled 
pup. I am unclear and all mixed up. I'll try to help with one piece of information at okay. the time. I am from the Congo and North Africa. I dance popular African and Cuban dance called the conga. There is also a drum from Cuba called a conga. Does that make sense now? I think I understand. I'm still totally lost. Oh. Hmm. It's hard to remember words when they sound similar, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Hmm. Maybe try using new words in a sentence. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, like for example, I love to dance the conga, I love to play the conga drums, and I like to write letters to my friend in Bandundu in the Congo. Like that? Bandun what? <laughs> my face feels hot, and I am feeling nervous. Oh, don't worry, friend. You don't have to figure this all out today. Sometimes when we're feeling too confused, it's best to just take a step back and learn that new thing another time. Well, that makes sense. Gee, thank you. Thank you, and thank you for telling us how you were feeling because it was a very easy solution. I'm also open to talking about it again. Some other time, I love to talk about all sorts of things and swing from trees. <laughs> I wonder what it would be like to swing from a tree. I wonder what that would feel like, too. Do you ever wonder what it would feel like to swing from trees? Well, we may not be able to swing from trees like chimpanzees, but we can learn more about them. Let's learn more about chimpanzees from our friend Rachel, okay? <laughs> Yay. Hello. It's Animal Fun Facts time. Let's talk chimpanzees. These guys are amazing. They prefer to spend most of their time swinging in the treetops or the canopy of the tropical jungles in Africa. Although they can adapt very well to any environment, some even live in the savanna desert. They're easy to identify because they're covered in coarse black hair everywhere but their faces and most of their hands and feet. Usually they walk on all fours, but they can stand on two legs to walk or run as fast as 25 miles an hour. They're about one and a half times stronger than us though. Their arms need to be strong to swing through the trees and for swimming. Chimps also use tools like humans do. They use sticks to get termites out and use leaves to absorb water for drinking. These guys are pretty smart. Learning about chimpanzees has been pretty fun. If you have any animal fun facts, record them and send them over. We would love to share them. What an adventure we had together today. I look forward to doing it again soon. And remember, if you want to share your gifts and talents with us, have your guardian connect with us to learn more. Hmm. Do you remember Grand Sappy's advice about finding one bit of information and then the next piece will fit? I think that's really good advice in life. Sometimes things don't always make sense, but if we just find one step, then the next, then the next, Pretty soon, we're out and we're doing a conga line. <laughs> I look forward to joining you again soon, friends. Thank you for being a part of today with me. I like to express the attitude of gratitude. It is the key to a positive mood. See you soon, friend. <laughs> Kids Sheer. This is me, Froggy Felix, and this is my friend, Doggy Doof. Hi! 
Foxy Foods. Oh, Foxy Foods. <laughs> and we are about to sing a song. It's called I Kick. Nice. Let's see it. And this is called, and this, this song's called I Kick. Let's see it. And a one, and a two, and a frog, three, four, and four. Nah. <laughs> Tell Miss Serendipity, thank you for sharing this story. Thank you for sharing the story. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you for it. Story time. Thank you for story time. There is a place. Do, 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 somewhere. things are happening everything you can't be imagining the enchanted planet is charmed and truly magical the enchanted planet is everything imaginable the enchanted planet stay rooted kids leave you later